Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room today. I thought I would go through with you guys this weekend a couple of other things that I do at this craft show that I'm going to be participating in. Um, remember, this month if you order $25 in Stampin' Up! product, that's before shipping, handling, and taxes, these are the two free card kits that you will receive in the mail. You get all of the embellishments, no stamped images. That's a rule by Stampin' Up. Please watch the video at the end of this one. It'll show you how to put them together and everything that you receive. You even get the envelopes. And I do have just a couple of paper shares left. This is the paper share. This is a holiday catalog paper share. You get a mini pizza box. You get all of the holiday catalog paper plus the one from the annual catalog in here. Um, the paper share is really $30 and the shipping is $7.50, so the total is $37.50. You also get 12 sheets of retired DSP. And um, I am including a one sheet of 6x6 red glimmer paper. You need red glimmer paper in the for the holiday season. Look, you get the champagne foil. Everything is individually packaged and every color that is coordinated with uh, what's in here is written down here or typed here for you and every time that you use some of the paper you can put your scraps back in these little bags this way everything stays nice for you so um, that's what you get and if you're a new customer you will get two free catalogs an annual catalog and a holiday catalog but let's get on with this right here um, it's just so much fun at this time of the year to make these little hot cocoa packets. I have two styles. Um, they're not my own. I got them off of YouTube. And um, this one right here, very simple. I did this in Garden Green and I used some DSP, the Year of Cheer right here. And our little uh, reindeer from the Santa's sleigh, very easy to decorate. Um, these little packets. Then this one is opens like a matchbook okay and it has the hot cocoa right in there and instead of using DSP on this style I just use some punch outs uh, and embellishments um, to decorate the outside. So I have two different styles at, my, at the show so people can um, see whichever one they want. So let's talk about this one first, this style. Okay, <clears throat> let me put that aside right there. So we will begin with a piece of cardstock, and this cardstock will be uh, three and three quarter by eleven. Okay, three and three quarter by eleven. So what you'll actually get out of one sheet of cardstock are two hot cocoa packets and one. Um, belly band to keep it together. Okay, you'll have to cut more, but you do use the entire sheet of paper with this um, Hakoho packet way to make this style. So you just score it, okay, at five and a half. Very simple right there. Just score it at five and a half. It just folds in half. You take your hot cocoa, place it in there. Now this, this one does not get stapled. First before we do that, let's put our DSP on. So the DSP is cut at three and a half by five and a quarter for the outside dimension of this packet. I like to use the Tombow because it is the cheapest. Um, I shouldn't say cheap. It's the most inexpensive multi-purpose glue that you can use. So let's go right there and let's put this right down there. And of course it gives you just that little bit of wiggle room, you know, so you can get it on there nice and straight and just kind of press it. And with the Tombow, you just have to give it a second to adhere, just like that. These are great gifts for if you guys are, you know, working. These are great gifts, office gifts. You can do a lot with a... Um, thing of hot cocoa so um, I think they're they're just a lot of fun like I said last year I had a complete sellout now the band here is um, I just used the other the piece of scrap so it's 11 oh what is this by like about like an inch okay 11 by an inch and I score it at five and a half this is going to go like this 
to hold it in. Okay, I bring in my flag punch and I just put this right in here because it's the inch and it slides right in there. Okay, and I just bring it to the edge, the points of that, or you could cut the whole thing off and just flag it right there. I think that would fit, but I, I, I do it at the edge so that I have some flags sticking out right there. Perfect. Let's bring this in. Now, um, I, I usually decorate this. I should have done that first before I punch that, but that's okay. We're just going to use some washi tape, and this is just going to go right down here, right to the edge. Actually, we could run it off the edge and then just give it a little punch. I kind of want it out on there. That would look nice, wouldn't it? Now let's try to get it nice and even. So sometimes I'll just use a piece of scrap paper. Um, you see on some of my projects this year I still have some uh, bag of scrap from the Candy Cane Lane, which I loved. I loved <clears throat> the Candy Cane Lane, guys. That was like some really good Christmas paper fun Christmas paper. And I don't know where I got this washi tape from. I know that it was something of Stampin' Up. So I'm going to stick it back in here. And I'm going to bring that out if I can get past that. Just curled up on me just a little bit. Here we go. Sorry. But Good. Sometimes you see me struggle <laughs> or see me forget something like I just did. Let me just snip that. Good. Okay. Isn't that pretty? So it gives it a little bit of bling. I bring it around here and then I just hold that tight right there. Oh, that looks so nice. Now, I do have a Stampin' Up! stapler, and I like it because it's long in through here, and this will fit. You can use another type of stapler, and the staple will just come, you know, a little, um, a little angled. But your embellishment's going to cover it anyway. It doesn't matter. Just staple that. Staple it to where you have enough play in it to where it slides, okay? Now... I'm into my little um, gingerbread, and I'm going to put the little gingerbread. Whenever I do things for craft show, I do it in um, a production line. So right now I'm stamping all of this, and I'm just going to put her right there, and that really makes that just adorable. Isn't that so cute on both of those? That's great. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one. This style is 4 by 11, so you get two packets out of one, but you only get um, this small of a strip that's left over out of one sheet of cardstock. <clears throat> this is scored at 4 and 3 quarters by 10. 4 and 3 quarter by 10, and it makes the matchbook. It's that simple. Let me get... Um, let me just use this one. I forgot to bring over another packet. Now this will get stapled in. So I take it where it says tear here and I really shake that chocolate and the marshmallows down. Okay, away from there. I put that in here and I fold it right here. And you can use any kind of a stapler. We'll use this one this time. And I just staple that in so that this will stay shut and hold. You don't need to use a bone folder right here. Just finger fold it because you want that puffiness. You don't want it to be flat because it needs to take the bulk of that hot cocoa. Now, I just took a piece of um, scrap paper. This is from the Candy Cane Lane from last year. I just have a few pieces of scrap left in a bag, and I'm just using it up for this uh, craft fair. So I just cover my staple right there. Isn't that adorable? Now again, I was doing my 
gingerbread so I did a little boy and the little girl for this so see I have two styles this one style you don't use the stapler and you use some DSP and then this style I just decorate the outside of a solid piece of cardstock so these are the two things that I do here aren't they adorable and I just charge a dollar for them so they're very inexpensive and you guys might want to make some for around the office or some friends or people at the post office you know just people who do nice things for you uh, throughout the year thanks again for watching have a great crafting day